working. So, oh, hello everyone. Hun, today, hey Ken and I are going to show you how to fill out a Gumpla sheet. Hey, um. Oh, hello everyone. Hey, today, hey Ken and I. Oh, and so, oh, wait, how you're going to need to fill out a Gumpla sheet is, well, of course, any piece of paper. Hey, paper, of course, you're going to want a Gumpla sheet. Hey, um. And then, and you're gonna need access to the Gumpla tabletop hop core rules. Rules, and so, oh, these his will tell you exactly what you need for the game. So, oh, for this game, you're gonna need need a Gumpla, a stand for for your Gumpla, and hand a Gumpla sheet, as well as as a tape measure, at least two six-sided dice, dice, and and um, and a pencil. And so, oh, to begin the game. Him, you have to fill out how to Gumpla sheet for your Gundam that ha, contains all ha, all the different information that ha, your opponents as well as yourself are going to need, need for in-game use. So first, you want to start off by writing down your pilot name. Him, I've taken the liberty of writing down ha, how the name him as well as the Gumpla name him for mining cannons Gumpla sheets. Him, so for now, it's just going to say our gun hum, our Gundams and then hen pilot. So and then next next you're going to want to how to go down how to is your pilot stats that's and so oh, at the beginning of the game him you get five points to distribute between these three stats however you wish so oh, and you're gonna write that in the base section of of the um, chart here and so I'm I'm gonna go ahead for my high m91 flash I'm gonna go ahead and go three into evasion one accuracy and one melee and for cannons, Hannon's NT Gundam Mark II, who he's gone on with one hun melee, two for accuracy, and two for evasion. And so, oh, next up, oh, we're gonna oh, move on on the pilot skills. Because each player can take up to oh, four pilot skills from oh, on the table, table in the bottom, oh, home of the rules. And so we're gonna go ahead and scroll down there now, so that Can and I can fill out our sheets. And so. Oh, this list this will have have many 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 different different um pilot skills pills to choose from. Uh, um, some of them will have have requirements, but uh, um, any any of the sh any of the skills in in the core rules do not. Uh, and so, oh, now we're just gonna kind of choose four of these. These, and then and you're simply going to write write them down down under the pilot skill, and then you're going to write write the effect next to it. So for this, his can and I are just going to kind of choose ace, vicious, reckless, and and iron will. Now, in normal cases, you'd write down the effects next to them, um, but oh, for the sake of this demo video and for the sake of time, um, Ken and I are going to go ahead and skip on, on to the next hex step. Uh, but before we do, so, um, pilot skills have different effects that ha will either give you who stat boosts or, or will he'll affect the way hey, hey, um, some of your weapons interact with the game. It'll give you special effects, hex or anything like that. Uh, and so, so um. Next up, up we go over to our gun Gumpla's name, and so oh, over in that field, you're just gonna write whatever name you've given your Gumpla. If you've straight built your Gumpla, oh, then you're just gonna write hey, whatever whatever its given name is. And so next up, up we're gonna determine our Gumpla's stats. And so oh, the way to do that uh, is that uh, you who write down what scale it is. So Ken and I are both using one one forty fourth heart. They're both HGs. And then, and you can and pick, um, and then you're allowed to pick the size highs of your Gundam's frame. And so your Gundam's frame can be large, medium, or small. Well, and so I'm gonna go oh, with small, oh, and then can hands gonna go with whichever he chooses. Large, large. And so oh, now we're gonna go go oh, down to the pot to the Gunpla stat chart. And then we're gonna find. Find the uh, Gundam, uh, Gundam stats that'll uh, um, that'll fit hit our frames the most. Posting so, uh, and so we're down here here in the one one forty fourth scale hell chart. And so, oh, I've chosen chosen a small or light frame. 
And so, oh, my base eight HP is going to be 68. Eight, my base damage reduction is going to be 6. My base movement, 12 inches. And my high, um, my base carry slots will be 10. And, and so, your HP is your health for this game. And your, um, your DR, your damage reduction, will reduce the amount of damage you take Hick every every time you're attacked, and then and, uh, your movement that is the max hex distance you can and move in inches, and then and, um, um your carry slot huh, all your equipment will will have a carry cost the total carry cost of all of your equipment cannot exceed heed what's written in the final final box for your carry. And so next, we're going to kind choose our Gumpla classes. And so, how oh, your Gumpla classes, just like your pilot skills, will have, have stat boosts and various effects for you to choose from. Um, and so, oh, the difference, though, how oh, is that uh, Gumpla classes will always have a move boost and a DR boost. boost. And then they will always have requirements that ha must be met before you can take them. All right. All right. Yeah. And then, and, um, so oh, any player here is allowed to pick two of these his um, Gunpla classes to define their Gundam. Um, and so, oh, for my I, um, for my custom M91 Gundam here, since hence it's based off the F91, which is known for for its light, for its well, for being small and being fast. As I'm going to choose high mobility. And Cannon's going to go ho with mid hit range for his first skill. And so the move boost who's for high mobility is plus 5. And then and it gives you one move, an extra move action each turn. So that means Hanes are able, able to move more, or one more time each turn. And uh, we'll he'll speak speak more about actions in the next video. Oh, but uh, for now, how simply simply keep it in the back of your mind. And then for my second skill, I'm gonna go ahead and and go with general use since the um, F91 line ended up getting mass produced. And so, oh the um. The general use whose effect gives plus one to all all your pilot stats. And then it has a move boost of two. And a DR boost of two. And so once you've chosen your gunpla classes, Hesses, you'll go ho to the field type, which in the rules is his right between the Gumpla classes and the Gumpla stats. And so the field type determines which hitch kind of battlefield held your her Gumpla uh, is the most will be the most adept with. So, oh, um, amphibious mobile suits; those are for anything that can. That's basically a submarine. And then, and for ground mobile suits, such as the Gundam ground type, hype the, um, the gyms. And, um, and then space type suits, such as ours, ours with hit, hit the um, vernier thrusters. And then, and there'll be the atmospheric suits, like the Kyrios, Kyrios, the Murasames, the one, um, anything with wings, really. And so... So oh, um, you're gonna wanna, and so they each do have have physical requirements, and so oh, you simply choose one that best suits your gunpla, uh, and so Ken and I are both gonna choose space, and so oh, um, the space field type hype grants the gunpla atmospheric as well as plus two evasion in space fields, as well. And then another, pl a second plus two in movement in space fields, hails as well as a normal plus two who move and a normal, normal plus two dr.
And so, oh, now that we have, have the field type, type, we move on on to the equipment. So, oh, like I said, your equipment's going to cost you, cost you at least one carry, carry cost. And so, oh, all the carry, carry costs will be he in the charts for each type of weapon. Having, um, any, any systems will have the carry cost written either, either at the end or the beginning of the system. Um, and, and the same will go oh, also for special equipment. And so, oh, um, any weapons have to be physically represented, and you cannot uh, have more than one listed to who a single, single um, to a single physical weapon. So, oh, um, really, all that means is that I can't, can't have only these two who rifles on my F91, and say I have ten rifles on my F91. And so, oh, can I? We're gonna go ahead, head and uh, pick out our weapons, and then we're gonna fill out, out our sheets. And then, and once you pick out your weapons, you're gonna want to go, go down to who the systems, and then, and any special equipment, which there shouldn't be any. Yeah, there shouldn't be any any in the core rules, or there might be. Oh yeah. And then there's some um, basic basic special equipment in the core rules. So oh, we'll scroll back up to weapons so that can can list has the weapons we have. So cannon, you have you have two beam sabers. So we're gonna go oh, oh, to swords, spears, swords. And so oh, your two beam sabers right there here would be considered two medium beam swords. So you're gonna write. I 2x to, for two times, and then and you're just going to write down medium beam sword, and so and then and next to it you would fill out how its stats. But again, and for the sake of time, I'm can I I am going to do that. We're simply going to write down the carry cost for um for each piece of our equipment. So Canon, go ahead and write I carry uh, carry cost two. Yeah. Oh, right. Or carry cost one each, up to you. Under two. Yeah. And then, and so now we're going to go to rifles because the only weapons left, heft on both of our gunpla are each of our beam rifles. And so here we are at the rifles section. So, oh, um, so while cannons, cannons are larger. Harder, mine, higher, smaller, so they will be different sizes. And if you ever have trouble deciding what size your weapon is, simply follow all of the sizing guide next to it. So how the sizing guide works, works is that you're going to take the weapon and then you're going to compare it to the size has that has listed. So, oh my, so oh, or you're going to compare it to your gun plus. So first you're going to kind of measure it from. No, we're going. We're just going to use mine. It'll be fine, can. So you're gonna measure it, measure it from the bottom of the foot up to the waist first, and so that's about half the length of the gunpla's leg. Well, unfortunately, gunpla's leg isn't hasn't listed in the sizing. So now you're gonna kind of measure it from the arm, and so it's bigger than the arm. Um, so it's at least he's to medium. And so let's check. So Gunpla's arm to Gunpla's torso. It so oh um if it's between if it's bigger than the arm but it's not reaching the torso of your Gunpla from on the ground. Found it'll he'll be a medium rifle. So I have two of those. Those on my M91. So I'm just going to write down two medium rifles, or beam rifles. And, and since they're medium, mediums, their carry co and their carry cost each is only one. And so next up, we're going to go go ahead and size cannons. And 
And so. Yup, Cannon's hands definitely reaches to who the torso of his Gumpla. It reaches about halfway up it actually. So, we're gonna go over here. It is bigger than the torso, but it, it is not bigger than the Gumpla, so it is going to be, excuse me, a large beam rifle. And so, oh, the carry cost for her, her large beam rifle is two each. And so Cannon's going to write down 2x, hex large beam rifles, and then and in the carry, carry section he's going to write hike down 2, and then and now that we've got all our weapons listed we're going to kind of write, uh, we're going to run down right hike to the systems page. Yeah, just two. And so, oh, systems are, are your non <laughs> are your non physical equipment, and um, really just has the special effects you have in installed inside your mobile suit. Now, some some effects hex will have requirement, or some systems will have requirements for you to meet. So, um. And others, like the Awakening mode, will just say any Gunpla may take this system. And so, oh, um, we're going to go ahead and fill out how the systems that we have, have which currently, like, like all Gunpla, oh, should and Gundam Breaker, it just simply has Awakening system. So you're going to write down Awakening. Then you're going to kind of right system next to it and then you would write its effect and now huh, and then next, next since we have all our systems we'll go down to our special equipment and so huh, uh, any, and so we'll he'll take a look around and see if we have have the requirements for any of our special equipment here. Um, we don't have any any visible pull sensor. Uh, we don't have any any custom sensors on our our weapons that are visible. Uh, neither of ours are customized. Heist, however, one of ours is high mobility class. Or how? Yeah, one of ours is high mobility class. And so, oh, it'd be he eligible to take enhanced thrusters, which would be he at one cost, and would give it six move and, move and plus one to evasion. Um, Cannon, and unfortunately, did not take heavy class, so, oh, he, or he would be able, able to take enhanced armor. And then, and if you paint, paint, or you customize your, in, has, has your inner frame or have the reinforced frame class, you're, you're allowed to take take enhanced frame, and then you can, can um, you're allowed to take extra rounds or clips if you have physical extra rounds or clips for your weapon. And so, oh, next up, we're just gonna kind of go over over some things we skipped. So, and so once you have all this written down, and you'll have have your gun plus sheet ready. Hey, however, however, um. Once you have your gun plus sheet ready, you're going to go back through, and then and you're going to look at all the different stat boosts that how your sheet gives you, and then you're going to write, and then you're going to list them each individually here, here in the modifiers section of both of your stat hat charts, charts under the as well as under the appropriate stat, and then and um, once you have all that, once you have all of that, have it done, you're going going to add them all together and then you're going to write the final values for each of your her, her stats in the final final value box and so oh, oh, um, and that so now we're going to go over over each of the stats and so melee the melee stat how will help you whenever you're attacking with say well, hey if cam decided to attack me with a sword he would add his melee modifier to his attack roll or his melee, his final melee, hey, to his attack roll, and then say I shot back on my turn, I'd use my accuracy with my attack roll. Now, whenever ever one of us are attacking each other, the other one's got to be defending or dodging. 
punching either way. But uh, um, whenever you're the one being attacked, your horn making defense rolls, and so you're going to add your evasion instead of either your accuracy or your melee, unless <laughs> Hessen Effect tells you otherwise. Your HP is how much that you're gonna um, is how much damage you can take before your gunpla is destroyed and you lose the game. Hey, um, once once your HP hits zero, you're done, as with most games. Your damage reduction it will it'll reduce the amount of damage you take every time you're hit by that much hutch that is listed. However, every time you're hit, it will go down by one. We're good, Cannon. We don't need that yet. Uh, um. And then your movement hint is sort of obvious. You, um, if your movement, if you have a movement of twelve, you can move up to twelve inches during during any time you're allowed to move. And then, and as I mentioned with carry cost, host earlier, her, her um, each of your weapons have a carry cost, and they just simply can't hint exceed heed the amount that your carry carry is. And then, and um, for for your her weapons, they'll have damage, um, any explode. Um, they'll all have range. However, explosive weapons will have a blast range. So, oh, once they hey, attack, it, it probably won't end up being just you getting attacked if there's anyone around you. And then BV or burst value, how you is used to sort of simulate the effects hex of um of of like buckshot from a shotgun. And so, oh, it would scatter header and and so that's one of the away. And so, well, one of the ways you can apply higher um, your burst value is if you have a shotgun weapon, you're able to let the attack spread out and hit multiple targets. Um, another way you can apply your burst value is to simply add it to your armor piercing, which is your AP. Now, your armor piercing, piercing will is the amount of damage that ignores your damage reduction. And, and so, uh, whenever ever you do who damage to who an opponent, uh, you would um, you would subtract the amount of AP from the damage damage you're doing, and then and you would deal heal that damage normally, and then and whenever you have the total damage, you would add had the amount how you took away earlier using your AP to who that final damage, and then and for things like shields. Hilds, um, whenever you're attacked, you're allowed had to choose who's if you want to block with a shield or even all your shields. And your shields, hilds will also have have HP and damage reduction. And so, um, once so with shields, how it works is that um, if it's a beam shield, hild it'll go on cooldown. Helm like with ranged weapons, um, if they run out of ammo, you have to wait to reload. And so, oh, cooldown is the amount of turns, turns that hey, you have to wait before her you can be able to use that weapon or that shield again. And then uses, uses are the amount of times times a weapon can be fired. This is normally just pertaining hitting to ranged weapons, but uh, such as guns or anything. Hang um, but uh, the number of uses is the number of times you can use that weapon before her you have to wait for it to reload. Code or or you have to wait for it while it's on cooldown. And then carry, carry is just has the amount kind of carry, carry or is just the amount kind of its carry cost. And so, oh, once you have all that information written down, how you'll have yourself a completed gun plushie. Um, I hope this video ho was has informative to you. Who oh, um, at least according to Canon, it was informative for him. Him and he feels a lot more confident now. Kind of actually trying to play it. it. Um, we couldn't have done this without help, the wonderful help of Dice Addiction Games and more. Well, and their here wonderful owner Chip Knight. Hi. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm not sure if he's streaming this on YouTube or Twitch. Hitch, but if he's streaming on YouTube, like and subscribe. Hi, bum. Well, this concludes the part one, kind of our three-part video demo. Hope. Oh, next week we'll be he fighting and going over over the stats in more detail. Hell, and and then in our our third week, he instead of kind of walking through the fight and explaining everything, we'll he'll simply be fighting, hiding, and answering any questions as we go.
No. Um, thank you and good night. <laughs>